Hello everyone! In today's video lesson I am going to explain you about story writing and some peculiarities of narrative writing as well. And we should also don't forget that when we are beginning writing a story, we should develop our plot, point of view, theme, characterization and sentence structure before let's begin. Now, in today's lesson, we are going to learn about voice, point of view, structure, beginnings, and uh, endings, uh, character description, setting description, sentence structure, dialect, and descriptive language, which we are going to apply in our stories. So, what's a voice? We should develop the voice when writing because voice shows our personality when writing. The writing has a sound different from everyone else. It has feeling and emotion so that it doesn't sound boring. The reader should be able to tell if you are happy or sad. So voices can be funny, frightening, serious, mysterious and etc. And the writer should be writing from the heart and bring the topic to life for the reader. In our first example, we can see that funny voice has been used. Oh, in the next one, serious voice was applied. The third one, mysterious, for example, here we can predict from the sentences itself. For example, yesterday when I was on my way to the grocery store, I saw a very strange man. The word strange itself say that in the paragraph the mysterious voice has been used. Oh, next one, frightening voice. And here are some examples for you. We should remember when writing with voice, uh, we should predict that in the following paragraphs whether the funny, serious, mysterious or frightening voices have been used. The first one, I think you have guessed that it is a funny voice. Next one, frightening voice. The third one, it is a serious voice. And next one is a serious voice. Now, it's exercise. You should read the condition and you should describe what happened to Mrs. Jones. You should use a serious voice. Then in a funny voice, you should describe it to your friends. Now, what's the point of view? Let's move to the point of view. Point of view is a person in your story who is going to tell it. It is a narrator. And the narrator may be the first person or the third person. What's the difference? In the third person, the story is being told by pronouns I and V. Um, it is a character in the story. But in the third person uh, point of view, it is the person who is outside observer, someone who is not in the story actually. And the author uses the pronouns he, she and they. And in the third person point of view, the author can tell about the thoughts, actions and feelings of other characters. And here are some examples. In the first paragraph, we can observe that the pronouns I, V are used. That is why it is used in the first person point of view. But in the next paragraphs, the pronouns he and she are used. And it is written in the third person point of view. And in our next task, there are given a group of sentences and you should read and decide if these sentences are written in the first person or third person point of view. As we know, in a good narrative, the reader relates closely to the story and feels involved with the plot and often identifies with the characters. That is why a good story is always difficult to stop to put down and the reader feels a sense of loss when our story finishes. If you uh, have developed beforehand the plot, character, setting and the scene, when you are writing a narrative, your story will be successful. For example, in this, if you are going to write about the flood, the scene of course will be coping in an emergency. The plot dam breaks, Smith farm floods, yes. The characters may be me, Tim, the Smithers, Bunny, Becky and others. Time, maybe winter, night, yes, setting high country. The crisis, rain everywhere. 
and um, getting to scrap cutters wear the solution of the story is safe in wear that is why when you are writing your story you should plan your narration like this or you can have got this kind of draft first of all you should set the scene then introduce the characters and conflict you should introduce the conflict then the story development appears and you should find solution to the problem you have developed and our story ends so opening paragraphs the opening paragraph of a narrative will often give us an introduction to the characters the setting or boss and will often give us a hint about the plot we can also call it an exposition and we can develop our opening sentence in different ways for example with a dialogue with a statement with a problem action description of people description of place and time and here we have got and examples for each case and the task is for you you should write opening sentences uh, to start uh, these stories one of these stories for example about the mysterious stranger or about an accident or about an act of bravery or the arrival of a new pet about the win about the loss and you can use uh, two other ways of starting the same story I mean uh, you can begin your story with a dialect or you can start your story with an action it is two different ways active beginnings we have got or in the uh, extract from the story keeper here we have got the opening sentence like an exposition setting yes and uh, in our next extract from the story Rocco, our setting is used as an uh, opening sentences. And next exercises, uh, Uncle 3 at Hamai, it also starts with a setting. Setting is a time and place of the story. Time, for example, it may be a particular season or particular hour. And place maybe the country the village the beach and the setting also includes some kind of atmosphere and the mood the story now next task you should choose a title and opening sentence from the list below you should use a sentence beginnings to write an opening paragraph which will orientate a reader into your narrative now let's speak about the plot Plot is the structure of your story. A plot starts with an introduction to the narrative and it can include the problems or crisis and how these are solved. If it's a good plot, there will be situations which will happen throughout the narrative that will make you want to read on. The plot should be attractive and interesting, well developed in your story. And to improve your plot, you should answer the questions, who are your story's main characters, what are their main needs, or who or what tries to stop from achieving their needs, conflicts, of course, their goals, resolution. Now, plot development. Here, uh, from the extract keeper, is an example of crisis in a plot. You can look through the extract. And you should analyze the setting and the, the, you should name the people who seem to be present. And this text gives a good example of the rise and fall of a crisis within a plot. Now characterization. A person's appearance, their posture and ways of walking, hobbies, the way in which they express their emotions, their sacred ways, fears, prejudice, and religious beliefs are all pointers to their character. And we can develop characters throughout the action, throughout the um, dialogue, reactions, relationships, or crisis. And the task is, you should characterize one of the following people, a greedy child, stressed teacher, or bus driver, 
Impatient Explorer or Passenger. You will do it later. And here are some good characterization examples from stories, from fairy tales. Now, character profiles. The writer may describe the character according to the appearance, about according to personal details, or qualities, talents, preferences, responsibilities. The setting. Setting is a location or situation where a narrative takes place, town, country, sea, bus, etc. Or it may be the time, as I explained it earlier, or it also provides atmosphere and the mood. And here we have got the setting in our extract. You can read the setting, a good example. Or here, extract 2 and extract 3. And these settings all paint a picture for the reader. Picture of a time and place. And we should also don't forget about adding phrases. And you should join short sentences. Your sentences should vary from each other. And some transitions, conjunctions are also important. You shouldn't overuse some conjunctions and or then are uh, generally overused in the story. That is why you should have got uh, different conjunctions, various conjunctions in your story. And you should select and place appropriate conjunctions everywhere. So, yes, then, as I explained it, and replace then. And the dialect, dialect is a conversation that plays between characters in the story. You should try to include a dialect in your story because it makes your story true to life and you can analyze your character's thoughts and feelings throughout the dialect. And here we have got an example. You can look through. Now, it was the end of our video lesson. Have a good writing lessons ahead. I hope my video lesson was helpful for you.